What the f- what is happening? I honestly- I don't even have like a, hey, maybe this is the case. I'm- n I have no clue what's shaking right now. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Well. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Okay. circling. I don't know where the seal went. Come on. Everything had changed. Well, maybe we're a human now? Wait, what are we? What the fuck? What? <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Octopus? Now I was a monster and I Cuttlefish? Maybe it's cuttlefish. I s I was a monster, okay. Cthulhu. Frick, I thought something was just behind me, you guys. Okay, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit too focused right now. What am I looking for? That, that bird, maybe? I was big. Oh boy. Oh, maybe not so quiet. We're gonna eat a human. Whoa, that just happened. Can we go back up these stairs? I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. Oh, okay, well. As long as you wanted and also didn't, that's fine. Oh no, we're gonna eat this drunken sailor. And I don't even know why! So the octopus controls a bit weirdly. Um, like, left and right, A and D, right? Um, w and S move your tentacle, and then you click and it just drags you to that spot. It's very intuitive, but it's very weird. I was still hungry. And what? The water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. This is wild, man. Like, I don't have- I don't- I can't even call- like, I don't even know what we're doing. I don't even know what we're doing, but I'm totally in. <laughs> like, I'm totally into it. Well, I don't even know why. It's actually I kind of blowing my mind. I the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. 
Okay, so now there's no more pulling. We're just going. But we seem to still be the Cthulhu Kraken octopus beast monster thing. Remember, this is- imagine if she went without two meals. I got closer and closer. We're back in our room. I bet we're gonna see ourself. We're gonna eat ourselves, and that's how we died. That's insensitive. Is it that big of a stretch? I don't know. All my stomachs. All my stomachs started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. Holy shit. It's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. What? What is wrong with her? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, oh. but I'm sure Edie would have. Cool. Huh. So, do we know what year it is? Because we know it's at least 2016. Because we have 2016 for Dawn. Julie used to write stories like that, man. I wish I was a writer so badly. I wish I could do two things. Okay? I wish I could write. And, like, well. Not grammatically, but, like, interesting stories. And, like, portray them in a way that is... Exciting and fascinating to read but also but also uh i wish you could play piano those are the two things okay so right uh we know that we are 17 so it's 2016 which makes sense uh mom died and we got the keys so it's 2016 we're here the house is ours um Mystic Envoy is asking if I can explain what I think just happened. So I think that Molly is a creative little child and writes these stories about her adventures at night or whatever. And that was us kind of... That was just the story that she had written that we found in her diary. That's what I think. That's what I think. Oh, and Julie... Uh, Julie's like, I can do both of those th things. I wish I could draw. I wish I was a good artist. Uh, either like pen and paper or like graphic design. I wish I could do those things so badly. But I can't. I wish, you know, I wish I could. Okay. Okay. So, I'm thinking that we're probably gonna find... I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I think we're probably going to find more stuff like that related to other people. But probably not just, you know, stories written, like, from that perspective. I can't I describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Oh, no. Oh, and look at the toy. See? Look at the toy. That's where she's getting this imagination of these monsters, right? She's got these toys that she's manifested into real creatures in her stories. And this is like the, the sea monster, right? Yeah. That's for sure what's going down. I can't duck or anything. I can zoom, but I, I can't seem to duck. Um, let's actually just double check. Yeah, okay. A lot of controls. Uh, and nothing's like sucking me under the bed, thank god, so. Uh, sharks were on the wall too, yeah, yo, yeah, okay, well the orca, well those are orcas, fair enough. 
There we've got sharks. Um, the cat, fine. The bird, fine, I guess. Yeah, freaking weird, man. No lock anymore. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. So, Though, remember- Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Oh, okay. That explains that. Um... You remember at the beginning when we peered into that locked room down by the door to get into the house and we made the comment that Edie, our grandmother, said something about everybody in the Finch family died in a book. Is that what she said? She said something about something about books like, <laughs> and, the, and the Edith family. So maybe maybe everybody's like a writer. Which would kind of explain a couple of things, right? Number one, shitloads of books in the house. Tons of books, literally everywhere. Books, 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 books. Okay. Oh, she said they're buried in the library. Yeah, okay, good, good. Everyone is buried in the library. So, everyone, you could be thinking, okay, yeah, library physically buried in there. No. I think, I think the, the Finch family was a bunch of writers. And... That went way back, and that's why even this young girl was writing these crazy, intricate stories. I think. I don't know. Every finch who ever lived was buried in the library. Kind of makes sense. It could also just be buried in the sense of, like, obsessed with. They... That's all they did was read books and have these crazy imaginations. You know? I don't know. Or they're all librarians. Fair enough. Could be that. But doubtful. Wait, why is that changing? That's weird. See how the color's changing when you get close to the house? Very, very weird. Very, very weird. Alright, well, we are going back into the house. So, potentially still get into the basement after all. I spent all. a lot of time in Great Whoa. Grandma Edie's room. Great Grandma Edie liked birds. Lurpy. Oh, and she has little, like, things for when they- Oh, she never reused the cage. Every bird had its own, like, cage and... All the books about birds. I mean, it's kind of creepy. I'm sorry, but it is. Shrine sketches, so she was sketching these things. Wait, why do we have two derpies? Oh, derpy, lurpy, purply. I can't read that one. Bob. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Rob. Burpy, derpy, lurpy, Bob and Rob and purpy. Alright. Alright, Grandma. What else you got? Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year. Just in time to replace the old ones. Classic Grandmas. Do you guys have any, like, interesting memories about your grandparents? Like, something you really unique that you would never see anybody do anymore? Like, um... My, my grandma on my mom's side? Two, two very specific things that I could say that are very unique to her that, like, are kind of strange. Number one, uh, for Christmas, every year since we were literally birthed, uh, she would give all of the grandchildren a coin set. She would go to the bank and she would get, like, the mint coin set uh, for that year. And it would just be like a basic thing. It was like um, shrink wrapped in plastic, kind of, is a way to explain it. And it would be like, uh, you know, the, the, we're in Canada, so the, we'd have penny, nickel, dime, quarter. There would be a 50 cent piece, the loonie. When the toonie came out, we would have that. Uh, 
And it, we would have that. She'd give that to us every year. And then when we got older, she just stopped. She just stopped. And you know, she. Um, I asked her about it one year. I'm like, hey, whatever happened to the coins? She's like, I didn't think you guys liked those. And we're like, well, like... It's not like I was like, I love to get these coins. Nobody loves to get mint coins. <laughs> like, it's not like I collected coins. My grandma collected coins. That's why she was into it. So, oh, I didn't collect coins. I was like, whatever. But then when she stopped doing it, I was kind of like, I kind of want those coins. Which is, you know, anyway. The other thing is that she used to knit, um, she still does actually. She knits um, little sweaters for, <laughs> for penguins. I'm not even kidding. She knits thousands of these sweaters just all day that she just knits these sweaters that she then sends off to I don't know where and they use these on um, penguins that uh, are impacted by oil spills and she um, and these these groups like get these save these penguins and then put these little sweaters on that all these grandmas knit and it, it like absorbs the oil so that they can get the oil out of their feathers or their skin or whatever, or both, so that they can like swim properly and move around and stuff. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. There we go. So that's that's that. Now who is this? Lewis died a week before we left. Oh, this is but Lewis. Okay. Edie had already started to memorialize him. Wait. Did you guys just hear that shit? Did you guys just hear that? Okay, so he died a week before we left. She already started to memorialize him. Okay, so this was this was taking place within a week. Yeah, that was a door or something, right? Maybe not. The old house, creaky floorboards, whatever. Let's not think too much. Okay. She's also got, like, handprints of... Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam. These are all people from here. Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam. In order. Walter, Don. Uh... Gus? Walter, Don, Gus. I think this is our dad, right? Odin? Do we see Odin here? No Odin! Why isn't Odin on here? And this is... Okay, Edith 2004. What the hell? What's 2004? What are these dates? Molly, 1943. She was like six. I was like... Five. Oh, is Sanjay our dad? Why is that then? I'm not sure how that works. Oh, oh, right, because he's on a different quote unquote tree, maybe? I'm not sure how to read these, like, I'm not sure how to interpret this exactly. The Leafs are married into the family. Gotcha, that makes sense. I guess. The branch is biological relations, so Sanjo is not biological. Dad, Gus was? Or... Or wait. Uh... Gus and Dawn must be your parents. It's upside down. That's what I was saying. But this is, this looks like Don, Gus, and Gregory are probably siblings. Eh? Yeah, I think this is what's up. Don, Gus, and Gregory are siblings, just like we're siblings here. See how they've got the branch? This branch is often into Don, who has these three kids. Gus and Gregory, uh, as the males, I guess, would be on other people's, they'd be like stray leaves on other people's trees, perhaps. Right? I think that's... It says Gus is Don's father. 
No, that can't be right, because Gus is born in 1969 and Dawn in 68. These three are siblings, I'm sure. 68, 69, 9, and then 76. Just like Lewis, Milton, Edith, 88, 92, 99. Kind of makes sense. Um, these guys could be... Look at Calvin and Sam, maybe there's twins? It's all dating back to Odin. Eh? Odin and Edie, maybe? He was quite a bit older than her, though. Like, uh, significantly. Or she, maybe? I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. We'll figure that out. Anyways, let's- let's move on. I guess these years are just when they made them. That's fine. The room is like a museum. It is. Very much museum-like. Yes. Odin. The mysteries of death and thereafter. Oh, God. He was a- see? Author. Odin Finch. Oh, these are cool. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Oh, we're rich. Kind of makes sense. Look at the place. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. The family curse? So Ingeborg, I think we saw as a spare leaf in like the very bottom right. Newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington Send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Jeez. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven okay, and here we go. Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin's daughter Edie, husband to Sven. So we were totally wrong about Sven's wife there. Edie is Sven's wife. Baby Molly. Okay, it's all making sense now. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. And then it just goes in circles. Okay, so Odin... Edie... So it starts here, goes down to Edie, okay? Edie has three kids. No, wait. Edie... Edie's married to Sven. She had Molly. Oh yeah, she probably had all these kids. Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter. Twins, probably? Right? And then Sam... I'm not sure how Kay fits in the picture. Maybe that's Sam and Kay have these three kids? Don, Gus, and Gregory? Yeah, I think I'm- I think that's what's going on now. So Edie's got these five kids. But wait, does that mean that Edie- Because if we're here, Edith... Who's- who's our- who's Don's parents? It could be Sam and Kay. They'd be 18 when they had Dawn, and then Gus and Gregory came later. So Sam and Kay, okay. So Edie is our, is our great-grandmother. Gotcha. Boom. Edith, daughter of Dawn. Grandmother is Kay. Or Sam, I guess, but probably Kay. Edie is the great-grandmother. I think I'm right. How do I back out of here? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was actually super helpful. Oh, Whatever's here we go. wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Yeah. 
Yes, it does. And there's a curse. Saving. Okay, this caught my eye. It said, Dragon Kills Finch, which is what um, she had told us. Oh, no. What is this? Mole Man Beneath the Finch House? Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch House. My mom was furious. Well, obviously. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Yeah, Edie, Edith. This is kind of interesting. Um, my friend Bigfoot. Conspiracy Now. Weird America, the Finches. Mole Man of the House. These guys have imaginations, or, when or they're weird. When Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Okay. So Edie was a little bit of an embellisher, let's say. Right? A little of an embellisher? Built in 1937 by Sven Finch. Yep. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Shh, Edie's questionable. <laughs> Edie is questionable. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger Whoa. than my mother. I mean, she seems pretty, like, with it. You know, she's painting portraits and stuff before whatever event happened. She loves the The only pink. trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. Oh! It was a pretty big trace. Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay. Okay. Huh. But does this bathroom not just scream grandma to you? Oh, we've got another secret thing. There's a secret in this bathroom. That is literally what the book is called. I just want to see what else is going on here first. Is there anything else? Now we're locked, okay. It screams teenage girl to you? Not me, man. I remember, not necessarily carpet that's like wall to wall like this, but I remember like at grandparents' houses when we you'd go into the bathroom and they would have the big frilly ass pads on their toilets like this and then the giant like foot thing to, to match was just a disaster. So he gets in his key, undoes all of these locks. There's a secret in this bathroom. Oh, there's these little like pull it's tabs. In the last place you would look. Underneath the sink. It isn't in the cupboard. Never mind. It's hidden in this book. Oh, that is so cool. This is like so creative. Don't you guys think this is out freaking standing so far? This is really cool. Like this is Sven really gave cool. Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Where's the camera? Oh. No. This is okay, this is a dark room, I guess. This is kind of creepy. <laughs> Julie says, I want this to be my family. Uh, be careful what you wish for. Milton. Uh-oh. That's the brother that went missing. Somebody's drinking back here. Couple turns land into a native haven. Uh-oh. 
Whose room is this? All these photographs, too, is very... These are exceptional. Am I gonna have emotions when I play this? Like... Okay, I have a question, actually. Don't... Don't spoil anything, anybody, but... How many of you guys have played this game? I'm curious. Just reply if... Like... If you've played it. You don't have to say no if you haven't, but I'm curious. Oh, this is actually a badass room. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Right, we saw that. So this is Sam and Calvin's room. Yeah. That was the twin, so we got that right. Okay, a couple of you guys have. Am I gonna be emotional? <laughs> like, he's just, I feel like I'm... I'm gonna be ramping up to some serious, like, feels. And that he never talked about him. Yeah, because if you look at the dates, um, Calvin died when he was 11. So picture this, okay? You're Edie. It's 1937, you're 20 years old, okay? You have your first child. Um, Molly dies. Sorry, you have your first child. A few years later, you have another, another child. Um... Molly dies when she's 10. Okay. Barbara is another daughter that you have. Dies when she is 16. Okay. Then you have twins, Calvin and Sam. Calvin dies when he's 11. Sam dies when he's, okay, a little older, 33. He has kids still. And then Walter makes it 53 years. No kids, no nothing. What? Like, isn't that crazy? Three kids, I, I know like way back in the day, it was more common for people to die at a much younger age because of like no vaccines and all sorts of other things. But, like, imagine that. Ten-year-old passes away. Sixteen-year-old passes away. Eleven-year-old passes away. Edie's been through some shit. Right? Yeah, look. Sam and Kay. They have Dawn and Gus. Gregory dies a year later? Is this the curse? Right? Like, Milton disappears. Apparently there's a date that he's died, but I, we haven't seen that yet. Says it. Lewis dies young. Everyone's dying young. That's the, that's the curse, right? Jesus, man. Something bad. This is not good. This is gonna be a rough one. 